Hi and welcome back on this channel, my name is Clément and this is the third video where I'm gonna talk to you about Yellowstone National Park. So let's go! Yellowstone National Park is a nearly 3,500 square mile wilderness recreation area atop a volcanic hotspot. Mostly in Wyoming, the park spreads into parts of Montana and Idaho too. Yellowstone features dramatic canyons, alpine rivers, lush forests, hot springs, and gushing geysers, including its most famous, Old Faithful. It's also home to hundreds of animal species, including bears, wolves, bison, elk, and antelope. While doing that side road trip, I really wanted to see Yellowstone National Park, even though I knew this was going to make me do like a dodgy tour on my way from New York to LA, which it kind of did. I stayed in one of the closest towns called Cody. And by the closest, I mean the closest. From the motel to the park entrance, it was more than an hour driving. And this is one of the points I want to make with this video, as there are some things I wish I knew before actually going to Yellowstone National Park. First, the driving distances and the time on the road. Once inside the park, before reaching the most interesting points, you can easily add an extra hour or even two depending on traffic. That's one of the reasons why planning extra time is not that extra. So I've stayed near Yellowstone for four days and three nights, and it wasn't too much. So due to its hugeness, there's a 100% chance that some parts of the road are going to be under construction, meaning extra time in traffic. I remember waiting a long time in line, not moving, because the road was cut off and only one way was drivable. You have to take into account the fact that you are going to be driving all day. I was actually proud of myself. In my head, it was clear. Wake up early. And when I say early, think 3 or 4 a.m. To catch sunrise, avoid tourists. And I knew the driving distance from where I was staying to the place I really wanted to see. The only thing I kind of forgot was that um, Mother Nature do not care about any of those things. That morning in this part of the country, well, the temperature is real low like 5 degrees Celsius. Another thing I really didn't think about was that hot springs mean really, really, really hot boiling water. I know I wasn't that good in science back in high school, but I could have thought this through. Because remember when I said it was like 5 degrees? Well, mix that cold with that hot. And you have fog, woohoo! And you can't see shit. Once you have a place this huge covered with fog, speed limit makes all its sense. La la la, I'm driving through the fog like a little rebel and BAM! Oh my god! Animal out of nowhere. But then once the fog is gone, you may enjoy um, that crazy beautiful park and all of its uh, different landscape. Boom! We collide, we break down Caving in to our Faces filled with sadness When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say that we break up just to start our own I managed to wake up early enough to avoid the crowd and the advice given by the National Park Service website saying that after 9am you're pretty much a is not a joke. This empty and huge place gets full within minutes and you can be sure that you're gonna get stuck in traffic for hours. This park has been my favorite place to stop during this road trip and I keep great memories of that cute cute park and if you have the chance to visit it, do not think twice go anyway i hope you've enjoyed that video which was um, kind of different from the previous one but if you did please uh, hit the like button comment subscribe share and all that tutti quanti stuff and you can also check my instagram or my website if you have time it's okay and i will see you in the next i see ya